I'm Pat Glibert, a professor with Horn Point Laboratory, University of Maryland Center for Environmental Science. I study harmful algal blooms. Harmful algal blooms are those proliferations of algae that can contaminate seafood with toxins and cause human health concerns. They can also cause fish kills or other environmental problems that alter ecosystem function. We're very concerned about harmful algal blooms because they are increasing in frequency and in magnitude and in geographic extent when they do occur. In other words, we see more blooms more often, more places, both in fresh waters and river waters, bay waters, and ocean waters as well. We are associating a lot of these blooms with nutrient pollution. We are increasing global use of nitrogen and phosphorus as fertilizers in our agricultural development as well as lawn fertilizers, etc. These fertilizers run off into waters and fertilize the waters just as their use on land would be. These harmful algae can uh, cause toxins in shellfish. These toxins are getting into drinking waters, getting into our seafood, and we are, of course, uh, trying to um, understand these phenomena as well as uh, minimize their effects when they do occur. As individual citizens, there are a number of things that we can do. We can minimize our use of lawn fertilizers uh, and we can be as efficient as possible uh, in terms of our automobile use and our home energy use. We can also alter our diet to the extent that eating local uh, and reducing our meat consumption, all of these things help to reduce the nutrient pollution into the environment. One of the more significant things we can do as citizens, of course, though, is also to vote because these are major concerns that affect all of us and the sooner that we implement actions to reduce nutrient pollution and other pollution, the sooner we're going to reverse some of these large-scale large trends.